out here at Fayetteville today. Got my car, oh, my car, Ryan's car. Kenny's over here, he come out and to help. And then uh, we, got a, we got a guy that we uh, started helping a little bit last night. It's Josh Fields, his car from last year, 2020 show, uh, Shaw, my bad. It's a uh, black 53, so hopefully it'll do pretty well. Um, hopefully we got it all back together like we had it the other week and we can go out here and uh, get us another win. That's what we're here for. Kenny, what you think? What are we gonna do? Uh, victory lane. That's the key. Yeah, we, we need to get us another uh, picture, right? But, but everybody in it. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna be in this. We got uh, the sponsor on the quarter panel, Michelle Roberts. She came out tonight to help support us. That's that's really cool. Um, hopefully we uh, put it back up there on the on the hill for. Her. And uh, we got Adam out here, big race for heroes guy. Come my dirt. <laughs> but uh, make sure y'all uh, start coming out to the track and uh, help supporting uh, your local track. I don't care where it is, where you're at. Just make sure you go out to a track and get involved with racing. Uh, it's it's only only way to be on a Saturday. So. But uh, we're about to go out here for a hot lap qualifying, and we're going to see what we do. Oh, did it. Oh, wow. They call you the dirt man. That's cute. Representing, got nothing but dirt on here. I think he qualified fifth. He's over here. And he qualified fifth. I qualified fourth. Oh, let's get that out. But qualified fourth. Uh, tires was killing me. That and I didn't have enough gear in the car. <laughs> Apparently, there's a tire shortage for everybody now, and I got tires with a lot of heat cycles in them. And it just, they're not firing off quite like I think they should for qualifying. So hopefully we'll go out in the, the race and get some heat in them. And they'll fire for me and we can make a couple passes to get to the field. Uh, got some good cars starting in front of me. Uh, the 66, Dalton Wilson, and then Ron Pope's in the 17. Uh, both those are good cars. Uh, hopefully we can fall in line and not get trained on the outside. But 
If there's something up there, I might try to pass both on the first lap. I know I'm one of the ones that preaches you can't win a race on the first lap, but hey, it might be tonight. But I'm just gonna drive my head straight on square, you know, and, and see what we can do. And uh, if anybody out there has a 602 crank motor, I got a couple guys looking at them. I don't know why everybody thinks I got one for sale, but it's sold. But uh, anybody got a 602 crate motor out there, I got a couple guys looking them, so get with me and uh, I'll, I'll put you in contact with them. Uh, appreciate it. But, uh, anyhow, we're going to go out here, wish us luck. Hopefully we can do a little better for RTR tonight and uh, move up a couple spots. I think Ryan will be all right. Tracks slicked off, smoothed off now. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of ruts out there during uh, high life qualifying and my line that I like had all of them in there because it's a pretty decent line, I guess. But anyhow, we're going to see how we can do. And uh, check out y'all later, and we'll get back with you after the feature.
All right, guys, so I didn't get to do any, uh, like, post-race or anything like that. Um, had a little bit of stuff going on. I wanted to watch the street stock race and watch Ryan's race. Ryan put on a pretty good show there for a couple laps, and a uh, car got tied on him. Pretty much the same thing that happened to me. Um, but uh, really didn't take on too much damage. The bumper was already like that when I jumped the cushion when uh, that ball joint broke, or not broke, but as you can see, it's it's pretty bent. But uh, ball joint bent and caused the car to get a really good push, but uh, not too bad. No, uh, no body work to be done, just a little bit back here, but uh, car is great in the uh, feature, but uh, it's all about that right there. That razzle dazzle, that's where it's at. Yeah, we made a couple adjustments for the feature and uh, did pretty good. I um, think we went the right way with what we did. And uh, credit goes to Caleb for being able to go off of what I was saying I wanted in the car. But uh, Caleb made a pretty good call on what to do i knew what i wanted but i'm trying to learn what adjustments to make to get the car to act like i want it to and uh caleb and ryan they hit it right on um i believe they went after i come off the track and uh made the same adjustment to ryan's car and he came out of the hole like a like a rocket i think he went from like fifth to third i think on the first lap, pretty much like I went from fourth to second. Uh, I got a little bit aggressive at the end and <sighs> reckon I got some people mad at me, but it's all, it's part of racing and um, it is what it is. Uh, that's all I can say about that. But hopefully we'll uh, move on from it. We'll go back uh, and uh, this coming up week, we're planning on going to County Line and running with UMPs. And uh, that should be pretty fun. Um, I've been wanting to work on dry slick driving because I suck at it. So it'll, well, County Line's not always dry slick, but it usually sticks off pretty good. So we're going to go have some fun up there, hang out with Ryan and Caleb, Caleb and all them, and uh, see what we could do with the UMP guys. I think we'll have a decent shot up there. I got some M30s um, to mount up, but we're going to go see what we can do. And uh, hopefully will be pretty competitive but uh i appreciate everybody that uh supports us and all the sponsors uh i was glad michelle got out to the track yesterday she's uh the realtor out in fayetteville so if anybody's looking for a house get with michelle roberts and uh, she's on the quarter panel so um make sure y'all get with her like i say we're uh Still trying to get this car lined out, and that's kind of what, what happens with a new car. I think this is like the seventh or eighth race we've had on the car, so we're still, I'm still learning, trying to get the car like I want it, and this car is just so much different than my old throw and dirt, and it's, it's, it's a lot to, it's a lot to get used to, and I think we're, I think we're moving in the right direction, so. We, uh, really all the credit goes to, to Ryan and, and all of uh, Ryan and his son, Caleb. But uh, I'm just behind the wheel pretty much. But anyhow, we're looking forward to going to Charlotte. I think we're gonna have a pretty decent car and um, looking forward to that. That's kind of one of those uh, races that, uh, or tracks that's like a bucket list track for me so that'd be pretty fun anyhow that all being said just make sure y'all drop a comment drop a like and uh subscribe i think we're at like 477 or something like that so pretty close don't forget to uh go on the facebook page nothing but dirt on facebook and enter to win two pit passes for charlotte july 17th um it whether you're racing going or whatever i mean it, it, i went a couple years back and 
went in the pits, just walk around. I mean, it's it's a great experience. Um, so, like I say, we're gonna get we're gonna get this car up on drag stands, get it washed, get it stripped down, and uh, then I uh, guess I'll be off to Charleston for work for a couple days, and we'll see how all that goes. But anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you subscribe. Go to the Facebook page. Enter to get a chance to win two tickets for Charlotte. Uh, pit passes for Charlotte, so uh, let us let us uh, give back to you guys because y'all are killing it. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed already, like I've said time and time again. But uh, you can get off here and get to washing. See y'all later. Hey guys, Ryan with RTR Parts and Performance. Out here getting the car washed up after our four place run last night. We went to Fayetteville Motor Speedway. Um, Qualified fifth overall, missed it a little bit in qualifying. Uh, we'd go roll off fifth. There was no inverts or anything there, like some tracks do. But uh, by the by the time we made it out of turn two, we were able to be in third place, uh, running right there door to door with Austin Holcomb and uh, Brad McCaskill, Daniel Parker, all them guys out there. We'd end up slipping back to fourth place where we'd end up finishing right there with the, the, the rest of the top three, which was still a great run for us. We'll take it. We're still learning this new car. It's one of our cars, our Shaw by RTR. Um, Doug Penny went out there and had a good run. He's also gonna be in this video. Um, so make sure you go and like subscribe and everything between youtube and facebook on the nothing but dirt page and our rtr parts of performance page we'll be doing a lot more videos with him from here on out to kind of spread the word of a wheel modified racing a little bit more and what we do here at rtr parts of performance where we are now a uh shawl dealer we will be putting together shawl cars helping guys out on shawl cars across the country dirt defender dealer outpace dealer Got one of our great sponsors there at will and then some of our uh, contingency guys um huge thanks to midnight and swift for what they do for us we can also get you any of your wares machine parts you need also but without all these folks none of this would be possible and we really appreciate doug penny letting us jump on board this uh youtube channel with nothing but dirt so like i said we're gonna get it finished washed up get it put away um and then we'll get it ready for this weekend like i said make sure to go like the facebook pages make sure you like the youtube channels and look for uh look for this video and and many more to come from us here at the uh, rtr camp thank you